Richard Woodmark plays this guy, Han- Harry Fabian, who everyone just calls Fabian. I have never seen Richard Woodmark in any other movie except the original Murder on the Orient Express, where he plays the character who would be recast as Johnny Depp. Ugh. So, And that movie came out 24 years, 24 years later, so he's completely unrecognizable in this, his leading man era. I'd never seen him or anyone else in this movie before, with the exception of Stanislaus Zabisco, uh, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, So he's a con man, and he's going from scummy place to scummy place in the city looking for a new mark. And in doing so, he finds Stanislaus Zabisco, who plays uh, Gregorius, the greatest, most traditional wrestler in the world, uh, professional wrestler. And it's actually kind of wild the way they introduce wrestling, because... It's a great analog to the conversations people have about wrestling today, 70 years later. Mm -hmm. Because the referee is like climbing over people's backs and they're doing like wacky stuff in the ring at this wrestling match he goes to. But Stannis and the and the match is promoted by Gregorius' son, who's fine with all this newfangled wacky wrestling. But Gregorius hates it. He wants to be traditional. He's the Jim Cornette of his day. Yeah. And... Uh, Harry sees him as an easy mark to take over the wrestling business in uh, London by lying to him and saying that he's happy to do traditional wrestling. It's actually not really a con as much as it's just doing different wrestling in the in the yeah. region. It's kind of funny that the thing that he ends up losing his life for was not that bad. Right. Yeah, it was the most honest thing he'd probably ever done, right. at least as far as we know in the movie, yeah. And maybe we feel that way because we are actual wrestling fans and we know that like right. competition is probably good. And, and and that also, Gregorius' son is a criminal, clearly. I was blown away by the fact that, like, the arguments about wrestling haven't changed in 70 years, and that this is a backdoor wrestling movie. Yeah. 